My name is John Damari. I'm a professional artist and I use a technique called wet on wet oils on canvas. The areas I would like to talk about is the areas I paint, which is mainly in the Western Isles of Scotland, Tuscany, the Amalfi Coast and the wonderful coastline of Northumberland in England. Also, what inspires me about art? I am considered a Scottish contemporary colourist and obviously from my work you can see that indeed there is many, many colours. It is also wonderful to work with pigments where you mix your own paints and achieve the colours that you want. I like to paint oil on canvas, although there is many mediums you can use. As far as I'm concerned, oils are king. I've learned the skills of pigment mixing, application, composition, and I've applied that to my landscapes. Although I paint seascapes, landscapes and figurative work. Let me talk about the Western Isles of Scotland briefly. What inspires me about this area is the light quality, particularly in the summer evenings, the remoteness of the islands and one of the most beautiful areas in Scotland, if in fact the UK. The tenacity of the people and the spirit of the people in the Western Isles. They're very much self-independent and they live in one of the best environments you could have. Very different from Tuscany or the Amalfi Coast. In Italy, the temperament of the people are much different. They have a sultry vibrance in summertime and of course, the Mediterranean is considered one of the best places to go on holiday. Therefore, from an art perspective, you can obviously produce work and people can enjoy it in nice areas of Italy like Sorrento, the Amalfi Coast, the Isle of Capri, Naples, Rome and Milan. In Scotland, equally, we have such beautiful areas and a favourite area of mine to paint is the island of Mull because Mull in its own right is a beautiful area although you have Barra, Tyree and Col. So therefore art is about enjoying it, producing work and having it there for other people to enjoy. Through the arts I support many charities. For me, the charities I support through my art is the Prince's Trust in Scotland, which helps young people get into careers and also to progress what they want to do in life. The Prince's Trust is an important organisation in Scotland because it helps so many young people get into employment and training. And of course it takes money to do that. For me, it's about helping others through art. My other charity I'm involved with heavily is the British Red Cross, which helps people throughout the world, particularly in situations of trauma and tragedy. But equally the British Red Cross do work here at home in Scotland. They have a number of ambulances that they fund, motorcycle ambulances and paramedics. Also, they help where people are in distress. So the British Red Cross for me is very important. However, we have many charities I support. For example, the Beatson, Mary's Meals. Also, I support the Scottish Mental Health Association for charity and little local hospices, primary schools and churches. It's about helping your communities through the arts to raise funds for all these causes 
that require money. So for example, the British Red Cross and the Prince's Trust are equally as important but so are the little charities, particularly local ones, charities that help people who have got terminal illness, for example, like the Beatson. There is also research work in medicine, so a major charity also for me is a charity called JDRF, which is solving the problems with type 1 diabetes with young children and adults. The list goes on, it's endless. So for an artist it's important that you put your artwork to good use and you try and help charities and communities. As far as my charity work's concerned, I hope to do this for as long as I am able to paint and I will continue to help charities. However, it all comes with responsibility and the responsibility for any artist, I believe, is about putting back into society through art. So art in itself is important. It is good for recording, it is good for promoting and it's also good for sharing and that's what's important about the arts. Also to develop the arts in Scotland much more than is being done at the moment. And of course we have one of the best teaching schools in Scotland, the Glasgow School of Art. This gives up and coming artists the opportunities to go and to study and to become professional artists. And the artists that inspired me, which was Caravaggio's work, in modern times, Peter Housen, Peter Nardini, Robert Kelsey. These are just about a few artists that come from Scotland. But my favourite Scottish artist is obviously going to be one of the Glasgow boys. And need you ask, for me, the best painter was Hornell. Because he experienced teachings not just in Europe and in Glasgow, he learned skills in China and his work shows the colour. So for me, Hornell is one of the best Scottish painters. In terms of English painters, my favourite painter was Turner. He done wonderful landscapes throughout England and of course a favourite of mine was indeed Dunstroger Castle, painted by Turner and Norham Castle. So Turner in his own right was a fantastic painter. One of the best painters who expresses himself in his art immensely and that would be Peter Housen. Peter's work is remarkable but it's artwork that makes you think about life and death. So for me, art is about expression and of course, I'm sure Peter would agree with that. So Clydebank has transformed from the war days to the present time where there is lots of people within Clydebank who want to actually learn to paint. And of course, the famous shipyards that used to be once on the clay like John Brown's and many others which produced some of the biggest ships in the world. So it is indeed a town of opportunity. But it's also about the arts and it's developed the arts for people so that they can enjoy the facilities here at Ostrock Art Gallery. One of the things I like about Ostrock, it has a good diversity of work from amateur paintings to professional painters. So it suits everyone alike. And this for me is a marvellous opportunity. It's a new gallery. However, the owner, Mr. Alan Rutherford, is involved with it with such enthusiasm. And again, that's what makes it a special place to come 
to look round at the artwork and even to take art lessons. There's many other events held here at the gallery to try and promote not just the arts, but performing arts, music, art classes, and of course the wonderful paintings. There we are. So that's a little bit about John Damari, the artist. And for me, awestruck art gallery, you are simply awestruck when you come to it. The word itself expresses what it means. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you've enjoyed what I have to say about art. Thank you.